In this video, we're going to learn about long division of polynomials. In the video's description, you'll find some exam questions that you can try afterwards. So let's start with a fairly straightforward division, 648 divided by 3. Most people would attempt this using short division, or perhaps known as the bus stop method. So they would draw this bus stop shape, put 648 inside and 3 outside, and then do 3s into 6, which is 2, 3s into 4, which is 1, with 1 remainder, and then 3s into 18, which goes 6. And you get the answer 216, which is correct. Now this is known as short division. There is another method. It starts in the same way, so we draw this bus stop with 648 inside and 3 outside. And we have the same first step as well, so how many 3s go into 6, which is 2. Now this is where the approach is slightly different. We multiply this 2 back by the 3, and then write this underneath the first digit. So 2 times 3 is 6. We then subtract those two digits in that column, so 6 take away 6, which gets you 0. You then look at the next digit in your number, so the 4, and bring that down, and then read this number as 0, 4, which is 4. We now repeat exactly the same process, but starting with this 4. So how many 3s go into 4? Well, that's 1. And then we do the same thing we just did, so we're going to multiply that 1 back by that 3 and write it underneath the 4. So 1 times 3 is 3, and we'll write it underneath, but then subtract it. So 4 take 3 gives you 1. We then bring down the next digits, the next digits is 8, and we repeat again, but this number now is 18. So how many 3s go into 18? Well that's 6. We then multiply the 6 and the 3 back through. 6 times 3 is 18, so we'll write that underneath, and then subtract. 18 take 18 gives you 0. And now we finish the question. This method is known as long division. Both methods here essentially do the same thing. The one on the left is usually a bit quicker because you do a lot of the maths in your head, whereas on the right one you're writing a lot more down. What if we needed to divide this cubic here by this linear factor here? Now this is where long division becomes incredibly useful. So what we do is draw ourselves quite a large bus stop, and inside the bus stop we put the cubic, and in front we put this linear term. What we do now is consider what we would get if we did x cubed divide by the first part of this linear term, the x. x cubed divided by x is x squared, so that's what we write at the top. Then because we're following the format for long division, we take this x squared and we multiply it back by this whole linear term. So x squared times x is x cubed, and x squared times plus 2 is plus 2x squared. And then we do a subtraction. We need to do x cubed plus 4x squared take away x cubed plus 2x squared. x cubed take away x cubed is nothing, and then 4x squared take away 2x squared is 2x squared. And then we bring down the next term, so that's the plus 7x here. And then we just repeat this process. So now we're going to do this 2x squared here, divide by the first part of this linear term x. 2x squared divided by x gives you 2x, so plus 2x. Then we multiply back through. So this 2x times the whole linear term, 2x times x is 2x squared, and then 2x times 2 is plus 4x. And then we do a subtraction. So 2x squared plus 7x take away 2x squared plus 4x. The 2x squareds will cancel, and then 7x take 4x is 3x. And then we bring down the next term, so in this case it's the plus 6. And now we're on to the last cycle. So we've got this 3x here, and we're going to divide it by x which gives you plus 3, and then we multiply back through. So plus 3 times x plus 2, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. If you subtract these, you get 0. What we've shown then is that if you divide the cubic by the linear term, you end up with this quadratic here. So that quadratic is the answer to the question. Now let's try a second example. So this cubic divided by this linear term. We'll start with a bus stop, we'll put the cubic inside and the linear term at the front. And then we'll do 2x cubed divided by x, which just gives you 2x squared. Then we take this 2x squared and multiply it back through by the whole linear term. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed, and 2x squared times negative 3 is negative 6x squared. Then we're going to subtract these two here. 2x cubed take away 2x cubed is 0. Negative 9x squared take away negative 6x squared. You have to be really careful here with your signs. When we take away a negative, we really add, so this comes out as negative 3x squared. 
bring the next term down, that's the plus 2x, and then do negative 3x squared divided by x. Negative 3x squared divided by x is negative 3x. Then take this negative 3x and multiply it back through. Negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times negative 3 is a positive 9x. Then subtract these two. Negative 3x squared subtract negative 3x squared is 0. And then 2x take 9x is negative 7x. And then bring the last term down. Now it's negative 7x divided by x, which is negative 7. And then we multiply negative 7 back through. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. And negative 7 times negative 3 is a positive 21. If you subtract these, you get 0. So we finish. The answer to this question is this quadratic here. So we can write that up there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Remember, there are some exam questions you can try on this topic in the description. Check out what I think you should watch next and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.